Looking ahead now to tomorrow or morning, bright and early. NASA plans to launch a rocket from Wallops Island Flight Facility on the eastern shore. That's planned for 550 tomorrow morning. So if you plan to check it out, you know, at least we get that extra hour of sleep tonight because of daylight saving time. Tonight on your sides, Jeff Edmondson has a look ahead. In less than 24 hours, this rocket will be going up to the International Space Station. What supplies are going to be going up on the rocket? And more importantly, how do you get a rocket ready for liftoff? To find out that answer, let's go to the Horizontal Integration Facility. The Horizontal Integration Facility is a place where engineers take all of the pieces like the engines, fuel tanks, upper stages, and payloads and put them all together. This rocket is just like the one that's about to launch early tomorrow morning, but this rocket is getting ready for a springtime launch. However, for the International Space Station, the science and supplies are what's important. This vehicle is going to bring up the hardware and samples to support right around 40 different scientific investigations. About half of those are brand new studies for this flight. This mission tomorrow is going to study medical research, plant growth in space, and help us understand mud flows that happen after wildfires. We can understand at a more fundamental level how these, uh, how these different systems interact, and we can help update our predictive models to understand um, the path that mud flows will take. This Ontario's vehicle is named after astronaut Sally Ride, the first American woman in space. This rocket is on its side right now getting its last few supplies. Remember, the launch is at 5.50 in the morning. At the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, along with photographer Chris Wynn, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson, 10 on your side.